I remember going to the gym and I was uh, the next day um, after the finale aired, I just heard this guy from across across the gym in the corner with his friends just shout, Snake! Match! <laughs> Manager, right? <sighs> well, yeah, I'm, and now I'm a singer. Oh, yeah. Every football team in England knows Billy Grade. And he knows a few people too, don't you, Bill, eh? Did you know that you were going to be a snitch when you when you got the part? Or was that something that you found out later on? No, this is all something that I found out later on. I didn't I didn't necessarily know that I was going to come back for season six either, to be honest with you. It's, but I didn't die, so there's always a chance. Yeah. Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> That's always a good thing, but um, be careful what you wish for, I guess, to a certain extent, because the scenes that Stephen, uh, the poet that he is, wrote for me were so taxing, so, so draining. I mean, I I mean, I do a lot of draining stuff anyway, a lot of um, full on um, crazy stuff in other jobs, but very few times am I the victim, and that that just took it out of me. The scene with the referee. Yes. Acting wise. Billy looked absolutely petrified, terrified, didn't want to be there, didn't want to be part of it, was essentially bullied into um, garroting a lovely Christian referee. Yeah. Like, on set, how much does that translate into you as a person? I mean, thinking, oh, God, I've actually got to, I've got to kill someone here. Careful what I say. I don't mind killing don't someone. Mind. Okay, all right. Well, thanks for joining us. Cheers. Take care, Emmett. <laughs> no, I don't mind the challenge. In fact, I get I'm very much, uh, I revel in challenges like that. The, the more difficult it is or the more the more I have to show myself or certainly uh, parts of the character that are vulnerable. It was a, a very unusual experience for me to play this, this completely raw, vulnerable, terrified, petrified uh, um, character. Uh, and knowing that that scene was coming up, I mean, it was a beautifully written scene. And I love the fact that... Um, Arthur made uh, like he's done so much throughout uh, throughout season five and now season six. He's made him. Uh, he's basically his puppet, you know, and he's tortured him and bullied him and gaslit him. So it's it, on set. It was tense. It was. I mean, we shot that scene all day from from morning to night. I remember when we wrapped on that scene. I went straight over to Anthony Burns' place. And it must have been about uh, seven o'clock and we went and got some food and, and some drink. Mm-hmm. And by about half seven, my eyes were closing. I just wasn't injured. I was like, I got to go home. I got to go home and sleep uh, and recover because the next day I'm going to do something else that Stephen's written and it's even worse. The, the scene straight after with you and Jack, how was that for you? Because we were, I mean, Lloyd, you oh, said- I you was sh- wincing. I made, I made a noise that my, my girlfriend had to come into the room and go, are you okay? It's psychologically just getting to a place like that. Like uh, one of my favorite quotes about acting is that acting is uh, standing up naked and turning around very, very slowly. You kind of put yourself out there, and it's quite a vulnerable art. Go uh, poked and prodded, praised, ridiculed, or whatever. And that's that's a beautiful. Uh, it's a beautiful quote uh, which I've I've kept with me throughout my time uh, doing this uh, doing this craft. But it's one thing using that as a metaphor or symbolism. It's another thing actually getting naked. In front of all these people, you know, that's 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 an incredibly like. If I thought it was vulnerable doing the referee scene, that was a, that was a different level. I arrive at this Turkish bath scene, uh, and uh, I, I'm absolutely starkers, and we do that all day, and drenched in blood, and it was, um, uh, and I had these because he was holding me up. I was on my tippy toes. Oh, yeah. So for most for most of that scene, I'm on my tippy toes, and when you when you're in it. You, you're in it and you don't know really what's happening until you, you hear your director call and cut. But I, I do know that my calves uh, spasmed and cramped up and all sorts of things. Uh, was it quite a warm Turkish bath? Or? No, it wasn't. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me throwing any shade or like being, you know, like. <laughs> when we first meet your character, uh, it's quite scared, quite a bit unsure. And then I remember like a scene or two later, once they're in with the Shelby's, cocky. Oh, very cocky. So cocky, living, having the best time. And I'm like, who's this Billy guy? Who does he think he is? And then obviously <laughs> we we get to the end and, you know, we're, we're then calling you Billy the Snitch and we're, we're sort of watching, um, the, you know, this final series thinking, when is he going to appear? Because we're so, we're so angry yeah. at Billy the Snitch. When's he going to come in? And then... You know, episode five in particular is—it's a real roller coaster. It's a real Billy roller coaster. 
You have to remember, like, at the end of season five, at the end of the final episode, where you see me picking up the, the telephone, where um, uh, I remember, I mean, apart from a couple of keyboard warriors that can't differentiate between reality and fiction, <laughs> threatening me uh, for snitching on the, the, the Shelbys, who, by the way, coerced, manipulated him and bullied him into it. He didn't want to do it. Um so uh, that's me defending my own character. You see that? Uh, so, but everybody was like against them. Uh, I remember going to the gym, and I was uh, the next day um, after the finale aired. I was walking upstairs to the weight room, obviously, because look at me, I'm as big as a rake. And uh, he, uh, I just heard this guy from across, across the gym in the corner with his friends, just shout, "Snake, rats!" <laughs> Ends up being bad. My friends texted me, did you did you, did you, you snitch on him? So I'm not telling you anything. I didn't know at the time anyway, but I'm not telling mm. you anything. Um, but I, that's the power of the Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders, is, it's, it's, I think it's a magnificent show. It's, it's art and it's watched by everybody. And things change when uh, having a chance to dance on that set. <laughs>